Jeff Hawkins, Regional Account Manager with Atlantic Emergency Solutions, and today I'm going to walk you around the new Road Rescue Metro Medic Type 1 Ambulance for the Boykins Volunteer Fire Department and Rescue Squad. Uh, Boykins is located in the southeastern corner of Virginia in Southampton County. Up in front, we've got an Alley Arc uh, heavy duty front bumper, uh, got two silent speakers incorporated into the uh, bumper corners. Uh, moving up top here, we've got the uh, Cool Bar AC condenser. And mounted on the bottom of that is a 35-inch uh, high-vis FireTech LED scene light. Uh, the paint scheme of this truck matches the uh, rest of the Boykins fleet, which is lime green and black. We've got LED running board lights down here on the front of the body. The uh, overall body layout closely mirrors the rest of the Boykins fleet. We've got a uh, oxygen bracket up front here. storage compartment. Uh, if this looks, looks a little short to you, that's because we've got an interior cabinet under the action area counter. Uh, very important to remember when you're designing an ambulance, what you do on the outside affects the inside as well. And moving on back here to the driver's side rear, uh, we've got a three-quarter high compartment. Uh, we're going to mount the uh, stair chair here in a pocket on the door. And they've got inside outside access uh, from the patient department, and they've got multiple shelves in there to still accommodate storage. You can see we've got the Wayland Super LED warning light package, uh, LED scene lights as well. Uh, you'll notice we've got two Wayland 900 series load lights up top. A uh, pair of Wayland 500 TR6 uh, red Super LED warning lights on the rear entry doors. Uh, that also carries over to the curbside entry door, and we also uh, put six inch uh, diamond grade reflective chevron striping uh, on all the door panels as well for enhanced safety. We did an additional storage cabinet above the attendant seat, uh, moving over to your right front stack, the top double doors there is for the drug storage. Uh, we've got a farm guard climate controlled unit that keeps that uh, temperature controlled. Below that we've got another large storage cabinet. Uh, those doors are one hand operation doors. You can actually use a finger uh, to open those at any point on the door. Got a safety net at the head of the squad bench. We've got uh, curbside splint cabinets up above the squad bench, and we've also got on all the uh, street side and curbside seating positions the exclusive Performax harnesses. At the head of the squad bench, we've got drop-in sharps and trash, and of course that safety net that we were looking at earlier. And then over here behind the attendant seat uh, below the pass-through, we've got two Zyco oxygen bottle brackets for D bottles also our fire extinguisher. So one thing you'll notice that's different on this truck uh, in terms of the interior layout is that we relocated the CPR seat uh, where the rear telemetry counter would normally be. The providers at Boykins felt that would be a better setup for them to provide patient care when sitting on the street side of the truck. Uh, over the rear entry doors, uh, there in the center we've got an IntelliTech digital clock. Uh, just to the right of that is an interior camera that the driver can monitor uh, to uh, make sure everybody in the back is safe and they can see what's going on. We've got a Ferno life pack bracket on the action area counter. Uh, just below that is the recessed suction. And there's that cabinet uh, I was telling you about below the action area. Uh, a lot of big cabinet for a lot of storage space there. Mm -hmm. 